okay, I will be firing my cameraman after this, since he not only drops the camera, but he cannot focus the camera. However, we will try this again with a unboxing video, or in this case, a um, enveloping video. So you will not see my initial surprise now, how poorly packed this object is, and please focus on it this time, Jake. I mean, this is a furled up, rolled piece of metal. It's an ancient comb. And yeah, I'm surprised it's not more squished than it is. So this is a horrible packing job. Do not pack something that's rolled up like this. It will get crushed. In fact, this is more crushed than when I ordered it. It was more rounded, more tubular. So this is what's left of an ancient comb medieval era Byzantine from somewhere in Europe and you can see the little circles very typical of Roman Byzantine wares but this little lug here it dips like that intentionally on both ends and then the handles would have had a similar design these would have been a three lugged handle so imagine an ear here connecting to another ear which is here over there, and then another one over here. So this is a very typical ancient comb. They're very small. It's no surprise, people were smaller back then. And I'm hoping to unfurl this one by heating it up in the oven and then taking a torch to it and just slowly working it open again. Now most of the teeth are gone. Technically, it would still work because you can see the serrations are still there. But there's a tooth there. And then there's another tooth inside that I can still see. The ones that were near the ends. So, if a medieval reenactor person wanted to actually use an ancient comb like this, they could just cut new teeth. There is plenty of room for new teeth to be added. However, I am not going to be doing medieval reenactments. I do Victorian reenactments. And then I will probably beat up Jake later for dropping the camera several times and laughing every time we try to restart. So thank you, Jake. You've done a wonderful job this time.